Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I want to answer the question I've been asked a lot. Is birth control bad for me? What do you think? Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. My name is Dr. Jennifer Lincoln and I'm board certified OBGYN and I'm excited to talk about this topic today. I have been so surprised since I've started using social media in a professional way to see how much backlash birth control gets. I get it, it's not something for everybody, but I'm really surprised at some of the shaming that I see with birth control and just the vilification that it gets. When we think about just a few generations ago, birth control was seen as like this lifesaver because for the first time ever, people with a uterus were able to control when they got pregnant. So I see these comments all the time on my social media accounts. Is birth control bad for me? Is it going to hurt my fertility? I saw so-and-so tell me that birth control is the worst. It's not natural. All you do is push birth control. I think that people fall into three different categories when they say birth control is quote unquote bad for you. One is somebody who's had a bad experience with birth control or with multiple kinds of birth control and they just hate it and it didn't work for them and so they're saying it's bad for everybody because of their personal experience. The second type are people who just think that it's true. They think that birth control will hurt your fertility or it is going to cause weight gain because that's what they've seen other people say online or they've even had somebody tell them that who represents themselves as a healthcare professional so they think it's true and they pass that information along. The third category and in my opinion the worst category are people who brand themselves as women's health wellness experts, healthcare experts, hormone experts, people who have no business calling themselves that, who then put out a product such as a detox, a cleanse, a pill, a book, what have you. The number one that jumps to my mind is Jolene Brighton, a naturopath who makes bank on this, right? She's got a book and she spends the majority of her book telling you why birth control is terrible after she tells you how she's not gonna tell you it's terrible, but then she scares the crap out of you. But she can fix all that with all of the supplements and programs that she has. So she's in it to win it in terms of bringing home the checks to the bank. And so that's not somebody who is number one trained <laughs> to have that expertise. And number two, she has a material gain from it. So you can't really trust them. So let's dive into the most common concerns you have about birth control. And then you can decide for yourself whether or not it's good or bad for you. The number one thing I feel like I see all the time is, is using birth control now going to make it harder for me to get pregnant in the future. And I wish like if I had a tattoo, I have a weird collection of a few tattoos that I can think of as an OBGYN. One of them would be birth control does not affect your fertility. Meaning that if you take birth control, if you take one birth control pill, or you take it for 15 years, it in no way, shape, or form will change your ability to get pregnant in the future. Once you stop your birth control, your cycle usually comes back within a couple of months and you're able to get pregnant again. The one exception is the Depo-Provera or the shot, and that can take up to 12 months for your cycle to resume and for you to be able to get pregnant again. And that's normal and expected. That's not an issue with infertility. I think a lot of this misunderstanding comes from why people were put on birth control in the first place, such as irregular cycles. And we know that's a risk for infertility. Putting you on birth control isn't going to fix the baseline issue. It will help you have regular cycles in terms of a regular expected withdrawal bleed, but it's not targeting the underlying situation. So I think maybe that might be part of it. Another one I see, birth control is bad for you because it causes blood clots. And that's true, but, and the but is important. So what we're talking about are deep vein thromboses or DVTs, blood clots in the deep veins that can then be a problem in and of themselves, or they can go to your lungs and cause a pulmonary embolism, which could be a life-threatening condition. The thing is, is that you can say that there's an increased risk of blood clots with birth control that has estrogen in it, because it's the estrogen that's the troublemaker here, but it's about context. Because when you look at this table right up here, here's the risks that you have with no estrogen in your birth control. You can see here that the risk of blood clots in people who are taking estrogen containing birth control, it's about three to nine per 10,000 people per year. But those people who tell you don't ever take it because blood clots are terrible, they're not addressing the fact that when you're pregnant or when you've just given birth, look how high that risk is. And that's real and it's legit. We have not told the human species to stop having babies because of the risk of blood clots. So if you want no increased risk whatsoever, I hear you. Don't use a birth control that has estrogen in it. But it's about context and this part of the conversation often gets left out and people just think that all birth control is terrible and nobody's telling them actually your highest risk state is having just had a baby 
which might happen if you stop taking your birth control because you got scared about a post on Instagram posted by somebody who has no authority to do so. Another reason I hear people say birth control is terrible. Birth control causes cancer. I've seen that a lot in my comment section. This is useless because cancer is not a diagnosis. There's multitudes of different types of cancer and it's all about in relation to what. So let's break it down. The one people hear about the most and they're most concerned about are breast cancer. And it is true that your risk of breast cancer is slightly increased when you take a birth control like the pill. And as you can see here, it is one extra case of invasive cancer per 7,600 women per year. And actually, if you're younger than 35, that risk is increased to an even smaller degree. One extra case per 50,000 people with a uterus and breast per year. So a really tiny increased risk, right? And you might be surprised to hear that because you've seen so many people and you've seen the media say, the birth control pill causes breast cancer. It's about how much more and the relative risk. You may have also heard that birth control is associated with an increased risk of cervical cancer and HPV infection, and those studies were actually really poorly done, and we don't have enough information to say that yet. And also, we have a vaccine to prevent that, the HPV vaccine. Here's the thing that often gets left out of the conversation. Birth control usage can actually decrease your risk of some really bad cancers. With cancer of the uterus or endometrial cancer, there's a 50% decreased risk in people who use birth control methods like the pill, the patch, the ring. In fact, that's why we often prescribe it to people who are at really high risk for endometrial cancer, like people who have PCOS. And there's a whole subset of people who are mad at people like me because they say, when you prescribe birth control to somebody with PCOS, you're not treating them, you're covering it up. What you don't understand is that if you're not having normal cycles and very irregular cycles, your endometrial cancer risk shoots way up. So the birth control pill or other form of hormonal birth control actually helps to prevent that and decrease your risk of cancer. So don't tell me that that's not important. I think the one that I'm most excited about is the decreased risk of ovarian cancer. And why is that? Yes, ovarian cancer is more rare, but it's a bad cancer. We often diagnose it very late and it's one that has a really um, low survival rate. It, it, it's a tough one to beat. So with hormonal birth control use like the pill, and that's the one that we have the most data on, but it likely applies to other forms too of combined hormones, there is a decreased risk of ovarian cancer of about 25%. That's awesome. Every five years that you've taken the pill is another 20% drop in that risk. So sometimes people are taking it specifically to prevent ovarian cancer if they're considered high risk for it. So that's something really important to think about. And lastly, data has also shown that birth control use, specifically the pill, can also decrease your risk of colorectal cancer by about 18%. How come nobody talks about this? Let's talk stroke and heart attacks. Another reason that I've seen people say, do not take birth control. Here's the deal. So thankfully, stroke is rare in the non-pregnant, healthy young person. So about 21 per 100,000 people. In pregnancy, it goes up just like that risk of DVT. So 34 per 100,000 people. Still rare, but a slightly increased risk. With estrogen containing birth control, your risk is increased, but it's still less than your risk when you're pregnant. So it's just like the issues with DVTs. Yes, the risk is there, but if that's the best birth control for you and going to prevent you from getting pregnant, then it's actually gonna decrease your risk because you're not gonna get pregnant. And we know with strokes and heart attacks that your risk is increased when you have other things going on, like smoking a certain amount, high blood pressure, any other risk factors, so we screen very carefully. What about weight gain? I get so many questions about this. So here's the deal, some people will say, do not take birth control at all, it will make your weight go up, you need to avoid it, it's terrible. So the truth is that the only one that we have data to show weight gain with is with Depo Provera, the shot. And out of Depo users, 25% will gain weight, usually in the first few months of use. That means the other 75% don't. Now I hear you, you say, no, I took the pill and I, you know, gained 40 pounds, I did nothing different. I am not here to disagree with you whatsoever. I'm here to say if, you know, we, we gain a little bit of weight every year as we get older, and if you have absolutely looked at everything else, your diet, your exercise, your activity level, the only thing that changed was your birth control, then by all means, let's switch it up. I just don't want you to think, like some people put it out there, that birth control equals enormous weight gain. I don't want you to not try birth control because you've heard of that. It's something that we can easily switch up and change. Don't take birth control because it's gonna make you depressed. Another one I see a lot, and here's the thing, once again, we don't have a lot of good data to show this. One study that did showed a very tiny increase, but to be honest, I'm not really interested in those studies. If you tell me that you started a form of birth control and nothing else changed, again, just like with weight, and you are feeling terrible and sad and down, well, then I'm gonna listen to you. Let's switch it up. But just understand that if one person had an issue with a birth control pill or with a depot shot, 
there's, you know, other people out there who are doing great on it. So don't avoid it because you've heard that. Again, it's all about what works for you. Lastly, libido. I see this one in the comments all the time. Don't take birth control. It killed my libido. I never want to have sex. It's true that for some people, you can see a decreased libido with some forms of birth control. For other people though, they actually have an increased libido because they're not worried about pregnancy anymore or their periods that totally sucked are now way better or they're gone completely. So they're ready to go. And lastly, the third group, they see no change. And that's actually the most common side effect. So if, you know, just like everything else, if you swear that your libido has changed with your birth control, we can, we can stop it. So what is my take home message here with so many of these things? Context matters. So you can't just scream from the rooftops that birth control is causing crazy symptoms. And it's also about what's working for you. It's about individualizing care for you, which is how it should always be, right? And that's why, Yes, I wanna lean on the data, but I also wanna see the person in front of me. And that's why when I see certain people, like certain hormone experts or wellness experts who wanna capitalize on fear-based supplement detox program sales, that really bothers me because they're not stopping to see you. They're just scaring you into these things. And I'm just not here for it because we, as women and people with uteruses, we deserve good data, good studies, and in the absence of that, informed consent and informed counseling, right? If you like this, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, put on the bell button, follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more at Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, and drop some comments below. Thanks so much, everybody. Stay safe out there.